Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, in the last episode on our last mini series, we re rebuilt this absolutely amazing Ford Mustang Mark One. Uh, it looks absolutely stunning. You see the little rear wing there. Um, we've got the interior. Did we seriously forget to rebuild the interior of this car? Um, nothing to see here. Did we even take this for a test? We took this for a test drive. How do we drive it without an interior? But anyways, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this Mark 1 for GT. Um, if you look in here, the engine is in a, uh, how do we describe it? A diabolical state. This is the dirtiest engine I've ever seen. But, surprisingly enough, it seems to use the exact same engine as the other one. As the other car. So I'm going to be cheeky and I'm going to steal the engine out of the other car. Yeah, it's exactly the same engine. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to move this over to the lifter and we're going to start dismantling it. Car actually looks pretty cool to be honest. Oh no, interior disassemble. Here we go, let's remove the steering wheel and the seats. Do you know, actually, the suspension doesn't look too bad in this car that, like, building-wise. I've just returned to the menu. Give me a minute. Right, I've loaded back in. I am finally back on the car again. Um, front right door has been taken off. Uh, oh, we got some cool in. We can take our radiator fans out while we're at it. Um, has everything actually just come off in one go? Right, uh, first of all, wait, no, you... No. Game, don't do this to me. Okay, those are all bolted on, so they're fine. Um... Where is the gearbox in this car, though? Right, so we need to take apart the whole of the rear suspension to actually um, sort out the parts, so we might as well take it off now. Uh, why is that not coming out? Wheel hub bearings. Of course, it's always the hub bearings. Um, right, so we got a rear double wishbone shock absorber. I'm hoping we've got the same at the front as well. So I can order that straight away. Uh, so that is this side done. And now my TV comes up with a power message. Ugh, I'll sort you out in a minute. Um, brake calipers. Oh, it's right in the middle of my screen. Uh, wheel hub A, B, I don't know what that was, that was B. Right, let's sort this power message out, because this is going to bug me. 
There we go. Right, uh, bottom suspension arm. Um, upper suspension arm. Um, is that everything out? Okay, I think that's the engine ready to come out now. So if I lower this down. Um, also, this car is being upgraded. Not just um, improved. It's being upgraded. I don't know. Why would I want to pull the engine out from there? Move equipment. There we go. Yeah, because we pulled the engine out from the rear from the front. Because that makes total sense. Right, while this is down, we're going to take the brakes out. Uh, and then we're going to raise the car up and sort out the exhaust. I actually might want to buy that exhaust section first. Sort that out. It's literally called GT40 rear muffler. Uh, okay, um, do we have a performance version? Rear muffler, GT40, nice. Uh, engine, here we go. Let's install our rear muffler that we've just bought. And we shall continue like that. Um, right, so, ah, there we go. Ah, uh, wheel bearings. Come on, out you come. Um, yeah, these are both double wishbones, which is good because that makes it less of a hassle for me. Uh, outer tie rods, inner tie rods, you guys know the drill. Uh -huh. Interesting, so this car has a front sway bar, but not any rear sway bars. I'm guessing this car's low enough that it doesn't really need one. Wait, is that a fuel... No way is that the fuel tank. Brake pads. And out comes the front sway bar, steering knuckle, and finally the steering rack, which normally isn't the final part we take off a car, funnily enough. Um, so that is that sorted out. Uh, now what we need to do is actually build our engine. So uh, first of all, we're going to take a look at the engine. So we are taking a V8 OHV Windsor race. Which stock produces 335 brake horsepower. Wait, there's a second fuel tank. There is a second fuel tank.
How many fuel tanks are there? Three? No, two. It would have been the left side and the right side. That is so weird. It's weird, but it's not weird. And the only part should be the rear muffler. And now this car is worth 14,000 and it has no parts on it. Yes, game, that makes sense, doesn't it? Um, so we're going to create a new engine. Uh, we need to find the V8 Windsor race. Ah, oh, there's not much different. Ah, but they are kind of the same engine, aren't they? One of them's just a race version. Um, right. Part mount. So we need to get a lot of OHVI parts, I think. So if we go to the main shop and search up OHV. I anything that says Ford buy it. Uh I know we need eight of them. Might need a couple of them. No free space in inventory. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I need to uh, do this first. Before I... Because if I start selling parts before these are done. We might be in a tricky situation. All of the parts got repaired. That's good. Um, so now I'm going to go to the inventory. And I'm going to sell parts that condition is less than 90%. Oh. Bugger. Right, I need to make sure not to sell those GT40 rims. Because those rims there tell me the size. And if I sell them, I'm done for. Um, so. We need two of them. Those are for the rear of the engine. Could be either of them, to be honest. Actually, it might be intake manifold B. Oil pan, I know we need. OHV eyes. Okay, let's give this a try then. Uh, engine. V8. OHV. I 
Actually, we don't need camshaft caps. It's crankshaft caps. Oh, hang on. Can we get camshaft in here? Yeah, we can. Okay, VAOHV is here. We can't get crankshaft. Uh, we're going to have to look for cranks now. Three of them. And then we need... Rod caps. We need... Ah, we need two of them as well. Sixteen of them. Uh, we also need pistons. Oh, hang on, we got an intake manifold VAOHVI. One of them. I want one of them. Do we have exhaust manifold as well for them? No, we don't, unfortunately. Uh, VAOHVI? No. Yes. Two of them. Right, so we got a new camshaft installed. Crankshaft. Oh, we forgot piston rings as well. Um... Piston rings. Eight of them. No, oh, bugger. H V I. Why is there so many parts? Ugh. Is it an OHV time and chain? Yes. At least we got that bit right. H V And we also need the crankshaft pulley, I think. Where's that? Here we go. V A O H V. There we go. Right, uh, what we need to do now is rotate the engine so we can see the underside. Now mount on every single individual little part. There we go. 
See, one thing I wish this game would do is if you drove vehicles, it actually, like, degraded parts automatically and made them worse. So you would have to maintain vehicles. And you could, like, pay for different kinds of storage. And say you have, like, an outdoor parking area where cars, they degrade and rust faster. But in indoors, they don't degrade at all. And if you put, like, certain cars, if you have covers for them, all sorts of little details, stuff like that, they could add. And it just makes it so much better. Right, there we go. That's the whole entire bottom of the engine sorted out. We just need an oil filter. And here we go. Oil filter has been fitted. Uh, ah, there we go. Rotate. We've got all the individual valve push rods. Um, right. So we need rockers. Rockers. There we go. Perfect. Oh, we're getting a little bit of lag right now. I don't know whether that's because my network is playing up or something like that. Could be. Seems like networks lag Xbox very much. Right, here we go. Next engine head. Ah, uh, push rods. Push rods are like the most annoying part to installing an engine. That's why I don't really like doing engine upgrades too much. Um, one thing I will be doing for the next two cars, because it is near impossible... To go to the show house and the auction house and actually find one in a bad condition. Because all the old cars are in bad condition, but the newer cars not so much. So I'm actually struggling to find like a Ford Mustang that's done more than like 10,000 miles. And has any form of rust on it. So what I'm planning on doing is... Just upgrades. So we're going to take the stock car. We're going to drive it around first. And then we'll um, actually upgrade them. So uh, stay tuned for those episodes. They should be coming out soon. Like not after the next episode. Because the next episode is the bodywork. We should start on them the episode after that. Oh yes. The upgraded intakes. Wait, two barrel side draft. Okay. 
Right, carburetors. I think that's all we need. We need an alternator. And I think we had an I-6, but I'm going to get the normal one just in case. Uh, they don't do water pumps, do they? No. But they do do spark plugs. And the power steering pump will be a V8. Oh yeah, and uh, ignition stuff. Fuel filter. Uh, ignition distributor. Cap. Distributor, ignition coil B, uh, I think the wires were V8s. Fuel filter, fuel pump, that should be good. Uh, exhaust manifold B. Somehow I've got to get between all these exhaust pipes and fit these spark plugs. There we go. I do like this engine. Building this engine is a lot better than the other four Mustangs. I think because this one just looks so cool. Okay, so it's a V8 power steering pump. That's good. Okay, so it is I6B. So I'm glad I got that right. Oh, this one doesn't have the thingy, does it? The fan. Right. And guys, this time I'm going to remember... Clip B. There we go. Right. I think it's just the uh, carburetors that we need to do now. Oh my gosh, those carburetors look amazing. Wow, look at the shine on them. Right, and then the air trumpets. Ah, oh, do we have to bolt each one on? There we go. Right, uh, here. Gearbox, we need clutch. Flywheel. And we also need a release bearing from the normal shop. Here we go.
And that is the engine complete. This actually looks really cool, this engine. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And there's a sneak peek. Ghost Recon Beta coming tomorrow. So, hopefully you guys do enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.